In Creo Parametric, the round feature has a pieces tab that allows you to control how rounds are propagated to tangent and non-tangent edges. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here I have a part started out. I'm going to create an extrude. Let's select the datum plane called top. From here, I can use the sketch tool in the mini toolbar. For the shape of my geometry, let's go to the palette. From the polygons tab, I'm going to grab an eight-sided polygon and just drop it on the screen here. Let me change the scale of this from the suggested value to a value of 10. I'm going to left drag on the drag handle just to drop it on the intersection of my sketch references. That's good. Let's close the Sketcher palette. I will hit the check mark out of the Import Section tab and then hold down the right mouse button and use the check mark to get out of sketch mode. Let's turn off the datum plane visibility and with the sketch still selected, I can hold down the right mouse button in order to get to the Extrude tool. Let's change this depth of this feature to a value of 4. And now I have my feature created for my extrude. Let's say I go to round this edge over here. If I select it, I can choose the round tool from the mini toolbar. And you'll notice that it just goes along this edge here because the vertical edges are not tangent. Let's hit the check mark and there you can see the round feature that ends up being created. Let me delete that round feature. I can right click on it and choose delete. And now I'm going to put in rounds on these vertical edges. And let me show you something. I'm going to start off by selecting this edge over here, and I'll use the round tool. If you want to round the other edges, you can use the control key and pick them one by one. But instead of doing that, I recommend that you use intent references when you can. Let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to unselect everything. If I hold down the right mouse button, I can choose clear, and that way I don't have any references selected. Rather than picking the edges one by one, I'm going to hover my mouse over an edge, and then I'm going to tap the right mouse button in order to get to the intent edges. And the intent edges are the edges associated with this feature, so if this feature ever changes, let's say I change it to a hexagon or a rectangle, it'll automatically update the edges that are rounded in the feature. So that is good. Let me hit the check mark or the middle mouse button. Now let's go back and create a round on this edge over here. I'll select the edge and then go to the round tool in the mini toolbar. And here we can see a preview and the round is automatically being propagated to all the different tangent references. Let's say I don't want them going to all the different tangent references. This is where the pieces tab comes into play. I'll click on pieces and here we have set one and piece one. If I want to change this so it's not including all the tangent edges, I will click on piece one over here and then I can select a segment that I don't want to include. And here we have different drag handles that allow you to change it. Now, sometimes it can be a little tricky using this pieces tab. Let's say I hit the check mark over here. Sometimes you'll say, hey, we get a regeneration failure. You can click OK or cancel to return to the tool. I'm going to cancel and then I'm going to click OK out of the troubleshooter dialog box and then hit the play button. Sometimes I find that in order to get this to work, sometimes you need to change the radius value and then change it back to what you want to use. And then we can try hitting the check mark now. Or alternatively, again, sometimes it's failing again. Hey, let's cancel to return to the tool. Click OK out of the troubleshooter and then hit the play button. And you can then use the drag handles to drag the piece that this is appearing on. You can try to change the radius value. And then we can try the check mark. And there you see that now we've successfully edited the piece. So again, sometimes it can be a little tricky getting this to work. Let me edit definition and show you in here. Let's go back to the pieces tab and then select piece one. This is where I end up getting the drag handles back. So now I can grab this and drag it to another vertex if I want to control how much of this I'm getting in the round. You'll notice I can choose 
you know, right now I'm getting around there. Let me drag it back down over here. And once again, I can try the check mark, and there we can see that we now just have some of the tangent edges rounded in here. That is good for that one. I am going to now show you how you can use the pieces tab to extend to non-tangent edges as well. To do that, I'm going to use my insert here arrow. I'm going to drag up just so I can create a sketch on this surface here. Let's click the surface and then use the sketch tool from the mini toolbar. I'm going to offset the edges. Rather than picking all eight edges here, I can use the loop option and then pick this surface. Right now the arrow is pointing in this direction. I want to offset to the inside. Let's offset. Let's go with a distance of four. Oops. Let me undo that. I meant to hit negative four. Let's offset loop. Pick here and use a value of negative four just to get to the inside. That is good. Let's close out of here and hit the check mark. So now with my sketch still selected, if I hold down the right mouse button, I can get to the extrude tool. And right now this is adding material to the model. I'm going to change the depth to a value of one. And I'm going to flip the direction of the feature. You notice that the default options automatically switch to remove material because of a config.pro option I have set. If I go to File Options and then Configuration Editor, I have an option in here for automatically adding and removing material. Let me find that for you. And the option. Auto add or remove has a default value of yes. If you don't want that behaving that way, you want to change that value to a value of no. Let's close out of here and cancel out of there. So now I have my, uh, my sketch created, my extrude, and I'm removing material inside of here. And let's do the same thing where we are going to, let's bring back the original features in here. And I'm going to put some rounds on the vertical edges. Let me tap the right mouse button to get to the intent edges. Actually, since I want this to go to non-tangent references, I don't want to put a round on there. I want to throw a round on this edge. Let me hit the round button and change this to a smaller value of 0.25. And so again, it's terminated at the non-tangent references. If I go to the pieces tab, we can select piece one over here. What you'll notice in this particular case is, is that's not allowing me to drag it along here. So there are some sp pretty specific situations if you want to round non-tangent edges. Let me cancel out of here. I'm going to go back to this extrude and edit definition. I'm going to flip the direction of the feature. The preview goes away because it's still trying to remove material. That's good. Now we have it adding material in here instead. I will hit the check mark. And this time I'll throw around on this edge over here. Same value of 0.25. Now when I go to the pieces tab, I can select piece one. And here I can go and drag it. It's allowing me to drag the round to the non-tangent references. And so that way I'm getting it in here. And so again, it can be pretty specific in terms of when you're able to use this in the model. And let me select over there so that is good for having those edges being rounded. And so again, you can drag on here and then hit the check mark. And that way I've, able, I've extended it to the non-tangent references. Let's say that I decide that, hey, I don't want that to be terminated anymore on some of these different edges, I will select the round and then edit definition, which is the keyboard shortcut of control E. Now I'll go to the pieces tab. You'll see here it says edited. I can click on edited and change this to included. And now this is going to go back to the default option of propagating to the non-tangent references. So in that way, you can see that with the use of the pieces tab, in the round tool, you're able to remove pieces of the tangent selection, you can trim using the drag handles, and you can even extend to the non-tangent edges. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.